<laughs> uh, do that again, Jonas, please. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> uh, today, we're doing a special video. We thought I'd show you just the responses that we're going to get from um, the people that sold me this dodgy gun up here. I do believe it's this one here. Oh, that's a plaza. That's not the right one. Let's not ring them and disturb them. Um, what's it called again? All right. Well, this is raw again, isn't it? Uh, so the outlaw is going to. Here we go. Uh, called Gel Blasters Cans City. Um, that's a plaza. That's Mulgrave Road one. Lake Street, that sounds like the one. There it is. Oz Blasters. These are the guys that sold me this dodgy piece of shit. You see. <laughs> right, you can hear that. Mm. Chris is the owner, I was told, so we'll see if we can't get. Hello? Calling all the blasting hands. We're currently in the customers at the moment and can't get to the phone. If you could leave a short voicemail message with a return phone number, we'll be sure to call you back as soon as we're free. Thank you. Mm. Well, we'll try this again in. Now. Fuck them. I can answer the goddamn phone. I've been waiting now long now, Jonas, two weeks, eh? For these fuckers to, uh, they refuse to do anything. They don't want to give me my money back or anything. And I haven't got a receipt, so. Uh, they sold me the display gun, as we all know. Hmm. Hello? Currently serving customers at the moment and can't get to the phone. If you could leave a short voicemail message with a return phone number, we'll be sure to call you back as soon as we're free. Thank you. Yeah, can you give me a call back, please, on 04781843191? Uh, how much phone charge has that got? Jonas, Pardon? can you check that phone please and see how much charge it's got? Okay. Look at this piece of shit. Now what was wrong with this? One they sold me the display gun. Um, 27% downloaded. Not downloaded, but leave that. Just how much percent on battery power. Right. Oh. It should say on top of the screen in the top right hand corner. Yes, top this. Uh... Oh, 8%. 8%. Yeah. Alright, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Alright, so they sold me this gun. Now I can show you. This. this is 800 PSI, I was told. I guess that's correct. Uh, but there's the gas leaks, yeah? Now, they this is out of another gun in the store that I put in the other video that they put on display again to resell. Now, the clip that I had, this part here on top, uh, actually broke. It was snapped. It's only plastic, this one. I don't know why they didn't make it metal. But anyway, um, this is broken as well. But when he replaced the clip, and we'll get back to this here. When I first bought it, it wasn't it, Jonas, that when I clipped it in, we would hear gas leak, yeah? So I thought that was just the gas going into the gun or something. I don't know. So we took it back, and then he uh, put this clip in, give me this clip, said this will be alright. Uh, so we did that same thing. I took it back to him, and I said, what's going on here? And I said, can we, it's not, you know, it's not working properly. Anyway, so he's left me with uh, this clip he took out of the gun that's on display now for sale. So whoever buys that, you're probably going to get a faulty gun too. Now, they didn't give me a receipt. They sold me a display gun. They said they can't take it back because it's got a worn uh, cut. 
well, this is our, I got it. This is the fucking gun that they gave me, right? So, fucking, what are you doing? Now, even the bloke, now this store was shut for a week. I tried to go back and replace it. Then when I do, there's someone else on. They had to get in from somewhere else because the other guy that sold me the gun's sick. Uh, I even talked to the boss, as you can see in the other videos. Chris is his name, obviously. And um, Chris uh, refuses to do anything about this. Uh, I spent $500 on this, roughly. And I bought a vest from them. And they refused to... Uh, well, they haven't given me a receipt. They said they emailed it to me. I haven't got that receipt. Um, so this is it. This I got the model number there. I'm sure that's the model number there. We can test where that got sent from. Well, you can trace these things, right? So to Chris at Gel Blasters, you've been exposed. Uh, some other things I've got. I think I've got a battery here that that new employee that you got. Uh, fucking smoke went everywhere. There's big bangers I walked out and smoke was going everywhere. And he's carrying this fucking battery out uh, of the store smoking and he's dropped it on the ground. When I went back there the next day, well that battery was on the fucking ground still for someone to walk on. And so I've picked that up. I don't know what Jonas has done with it, but it's somewhere. He's probably moved it out of the car into the bin thing and it was rubbish. But um, yeah, that's that, that happened. And while I'm filming in the store on that other video, you can see the, the electric guns jamming. So look, look, these guns are down. And I feel sorry for you people if they don't fucking fix that. I hope they give you a receipt and not sell you the display gun. Um, so anyway, uh, if you don't do anything about it, well, we'll try the A triple C. Right. And that's useless. I've had that for a couple of weeks now. It's fucking useless. And uh, so obviously I've got a YouTube channel and that's one of my props. And um, yeah, Chris, uh, yeah, I was planning on buying more and more stuff. But you know what? After this, uh, hang on. Just to be fair, you did op offer to fix it. Take it away and fix it. But without a receipt, I'm not going to hand this over to you. I've got police stealing cars off me, me rav, right? Then I got a receipt for that, but the police want to steal it. And um, but anyway, this year you haven't given me a receipt. Your staff have lied to me. One sick. The stores closed for a week. We just done the phone calls. You don't answer your phone. Let's see if you how long you're with customers for. Let's see this, or unless you're avoiding this particular phone number i haven't got a call back on the on my phone yet so i was thinking customers might be important to you especially ones with problems but we're going to have another call i'm going to do this again show all the viewers how you actually don't care about your customers you don't respond and the response you get is negative jesus christ what's going on with this planet this is just scanned there we go bring them up again but if we go to the message, I think they know it's me. They don't know I'm recording though, but they're going to get us the prize. Chris, hello. Hello, Chris. Can you replace my gun or give me my fucking money back? Hello. Thanks for calling all the glasses in cans. We're currently serving customers at the moment and can't get to the phone. Mm. If you could leave a short voicemail message mm. with a return phone number, we will be sure to call mm. you back as soon as we're free. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, this is the outlaw. Um, we're just doing a YouTube video now just to explain how you're not responding and not getting back to customers that have problems with guns. Uh, so you can get, you can call me back or get Chris to call me back on my number. Uh, you seem to be avoiding me a lot and uh, not doing anything. Uh, we'll ring the A Triple C after this, and then we'll see how we go with that. Um, but this is a publicity uh, I think you deserve. Because, listen, I'm showing the people out here uh, how you don't care about customers and you don't answer clients. You're too busy making money. I showed that on my other video where he just ignores me and fucks off and goes to sales. Don't worry about fixing the fucking sale that you made. So that's it. 
Uh, this is the Outlaw Out. Give me a call back on 0478184319. Uh, hi, Chris. Say hi to the viewers in Cairns and any tourist that comes over buys one of your stupid guns. All right, fix it or give me my money back. Oh yeah, that'll do it. And then we just hang up. See, that was all. There you go. Rightio, this is the outlaw. With a useless gun. Boom! And, um, for now I'm out. Uh, exposing all the fuckwits and the police. Uh, and the hospital. Uh, for, well this, it could be you, it could be you, so you're lucky the outlaws out here living it, showing you all the bullshit, whether it's to do with business, police, fuck you have problems, comment down below, share, like, subscribe, do all those things, let's expose fuckwits if you're being ripped off, hassled by the police, anything like that, fucking leave some messages down there on for all new equipment, drones, fucking laptops, phones, all sorts of things. Uh, I'm just learning how to use it all, so not too many posts are going up at the moment, and I'm trying to nut out everything, so this channel is perfect. But we're going to fucking expose a lot of these fuckwits. Anyone that's a fuckwit out there, wants to rip people off, or fucking uh, do any illegal evictions, or anything, or anything else, uh, comment. Please like, help the channel fucking grow and expand. Uh, I've got some fans out there uh, that are helping me with all the tech savvy stuff and they're making up all the, uh, the design of the uh, channel. So we're going to do some other content and stuff later on where you can challenge the uh, outlaw to urban survival. Uh, you can put me in a situation, I guess, and I'll have to try and nut out a way to earn money from that situation or place or whatever and um yeah anyway this is the outlaw exposing all the fuckheads um uh, joe balls lake street city ono chris man it's illegal to sell shit without a receipt i haven't got that fucking receipt still on my phone in my gmail you your staff you lie you take the money you give a body gun that's a display gun uh from the company that wouldn't have cost you fuck all Right, to display gun right to sell their products and you didn't have any of their original product in the store you had no spare clip you had nothing pay up money back or we'll just boom keep fucking boom doing these videos so and we're going to bring the a triple c happy days this is the outlaw